Chengdu metro system has four kinds of lines, local, express, fully automatic operation, and tram. Line 1 to 8 are local lines. The top speed is 80 km per hour. Line 10, 17, and 18 are express lines. The top speed of line 10 is 100 km per hour. Line 17 and 18 are 140 km per hour. Line 10 and 18 lead to the two airports of Chengdu. So you do want them to be faster when you need to catch a plane. And the seats of express lines are more comfortable. That's a larger difference. Line 9 is definitely the most cool line. Fully automatic operation means there is no driver on board. The trains are running by themselves. As you can imagine, it's children's favorite line. The last type tram line is the shortest and slowest. The top speed is 70 km per hour. But it's the coldest. You can have the sunshine and views all the way. There are not only transfer stations to other lines, but also to other transports. For example, Wenhua Gong Station is not only a transfer station of Line 4 and 7, but also can transfer to Jingsha Bus Hub Station. Yes, this building is a bus hub station. 23 different lines of city buses start in this station. It only costs a couple of minutes to reach here from the metro station. If you need to take a coach bus, there are also metro stations can transfer to, such as the Xinan Main Station of Line 3. You can take coach buses here. The coach bus station is just outside the metro station. Actually, when people need to travel long distance in China, CRH, China Railway High Speed, is much more popular than coach buses. I will introduce it in my channel. You'll see. Chengdu is the railway center of southwest of China. Here are four big railway stations. The East Railway Station. The West Railway Station. The South Railway Station. And yes, you're right, the North Railway Station. But where is it? This oldest railway station of Chengdu was demolished weeks ago. The whole new station will open in 2026. Each of the railway stations has a metro station under it, so it's very convenient to transfer. Let's take a walk.
All right, don't forget the airports. Each of the airports also has a metro station under it. So... The most useful function of Chengdu Metro besides traffic is a commercial complex. Remember the green steam station I mentioned before? That's a typical metro commercial complex. The Guanghua Park station is beside the park and in between of two big malls. The malls are connected to the station underground. What can you get in the malls? Coffee and fast food all kinds of Chinese snacks and restaurants, apparel and cosmetics, jewelry and watches, supermarkets and cinemas, electronic devices and electric vehicles, playgrounds for children. I don't know precisely how many metro commercial complexes there are in Chengdu. Quite a few, I believe. Let me introduce some special ones. This is Tianfu Square Station, right in the middle of the city. Line 1 and 2 come across here. They are the two most crowded lines. The commercial complex is under the square. The fourth floor underground is a platform of line 2. The third floor underground is a platform of line 1. The second floor underground is a metro station. The first floor underground is a mall, as big as a square. You can eat and drink and buy different kinds of interesting stuff here. On the ground is a 10-foot square. The size is 300 meters by 200 meters. Around the square, the Sichuan Theater, the Science and Technology Museum, the City Library, the Art Gallery, the City Museum, and some malls, hotels, and office buildings. The next complex is quite big and fancy, the Global Center and the Chengdu SKP. The Global Center is the biggest, or you can say the fattest, single building in Asia. The size is 500 meters by 400 meters and 130 meters high, much bigger than the Tianfu Square. It besides the Jincheng Plaza station of Line 1. Undoubtedly, they are connected underground. The Global Center has a lot of office blocks, a huge mall downstairs, a big resort hotel inside the mall, a whole water park inside the hotel, and even a chapel in there. Well, it's a children's playground in winter. How about in summer? Across the road, the upper side of Global Center is the Chengdu SKP. It's a park and a big mall at the same time. The land area is about half of the Global Center. On the ground is a park. 
most of the commercial facilities are underground, including the metro station of Line 18. This mall is much more high spending. People may say it's the most fancy mall of Chengdu for now. The last special complex is the Western China International Expo City. Line 1, 6, and 18 come across here. This station is the biggest so far. The area of structure is nearly 100,000 square meters. That's about 14 football fields. Look at the cavernous space. And eight escalators in a row for one exit. No, this is not an airport. It's a metro station. Why so big? Because outside there is a mega exposition and conference center, one of the largest in China. As the most popular public transport in Chengdu, metro is definitely crowded during rush hours. It's 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Let's check it out. The distance is about 25 kilometers and cost me about an hour one way. That's how I commuted every workday, just like many other native people. Actually, what you just saw is not crowded enough as usual. I mentioned in the beginning the normal average passenger trips per day are 5 million, but it's only about 3 million these days. Because it's getting close to the Chinese New Year, Perhaps you have noticed the festival decoration at some places. Many people have went home or stopped working and having holidays already. Metro is a big business, no matter where it is. In China, metro corporations are all nationalized, which means they are not private companies. They are owned and controlled by the government. They have decided the metro system is not for making money, but for public service. The profit of Chengdu Metro for 2020 is about 1.4 billion renminbi and about 0 0.95 billion for 2021. That's about 200 million and 140 million US dollars. But the profits include the government subsidies. If we take out the subsidies, the Chengdu Metro had lost about 7.5 billion renminbi in 2020 and 5 billion in 2021. That's about 1 billion US dollars and 720 million US dollars loss. That is a lot of money. And that is a way to spend tax on public service. 
As I mentioned, Chengdu metro system is still under construction. The plan had been made to 2029, or maybe longer than that. I'm not sure what it looks like when the whole project is completed, but I'm probably gonna make a video for that. Okay, that's all for this episode about Chengdu Metro. Thank you for watching. Next one is about Chengdu bus system. I'm pretty sure there's something you have not known. So don't forget to subscribe. This is Chinese Daniel. I introduce China in everyday details. See you next time.